seven day trial ad performance review, a little bit of conversion training. It helps to kind of know and acknowledge what you're looking for and make sure you understand what's happening. So number one, when you connect your Facebook account, it's your business page, your Facebook ad manager, actually, that's going to be connecting to the street text trial. They connect together. The trial is free, but your spending is not. Facebook advertising is not free. <laughs> they want you to pay them to, to, to meet new people that you've never met before. So it's just so you know. So you have to actually have a payment on your Facebook business page to run this trial. If I mean, you could obviously do this trial and just learn and not run any ads. But if you want to run any ads, you have to do it that way. Okay. Everybody clear on that? Cool. Perfect. Okay. Second of all, Facebook is going to make a random selection of 15 miles for your targeting. So you could go in there right now and start running ads with our software and say, you know what? You know, I'm from this town called Los Gatos in California. I'm going to go after Los Gatos, California, because that's from my, my hometown. But Facebook's like, hey, yeah, cool. Go ahead and zoom into this image with Los Gatos in mind. Zoom into that 30,000 plus uh, population city. But we're just going to throw 15 miles around it. That's what they do because of the Housing Discriminatory Act. So everybody who's running Facebook ads has to actually now adjust your thought process about around, hey, I am an influencer of my zip codes and my favorite places in my backyard. No, you're not. You're now an influencer on Facebook of 15 miles. And if you don't like it, don't do it. Don't do it. Just going to say, you're there. I, I wish I could give you a, a better solution here. But the truth is, everybody in your industry has to do it. So you either get on board and become, you know, an influencer of 15 miles, or you move into the model where you're going to compete against everybody else for zip codes and, you know, pay Zillow thousands and thousands of dollars. Right. Hey, Marcus, uh, quick question. Is it the same thing in Canada? Yep. I, the same thing, eh? Okay. 25 kilometers equals 15 miles. Okay. So yes, it is the same. And it's recent actually in Canada. It wasn't, it wasn't too long ago. You know, it, it could change, right? It always can change. It's just Facebook is always making changes. And with that, we have to make changes. Um, but, but yes, so that's, that's, you know, and in this trial, we always like to begin with seller ads. Um, doesn't mean you can't do buyer ads. I just, I'm going to tell you the seller ads is where it's at. Buyer ads are great, but you need to probably the buyer ads are a way better solution when you're running a Facebook lead ad, which is the Facebook lead capture form. Um, and we have lots of different templates because when you log into your trial, you're going to have three templates you can run. If you have a listing you want to market right now, do it. It works. Like you're getting like, you're going to get like $2 phone numbers if you set it up right. Maybe less. Um, and now for seller leads, what I'm looking for within the first $10 of ad spend is at least an email. If you don't have an email within $10 of spend, you got to turn that ad off. Okay. That's it. If you get multiple submissions with emails, you've got a good ad. If you get a phone number within $10, you've got a good ad. Let me tell you what this funnel average is. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen in a second here. And I'm going to let you kind of see, you know, what you're looking for and how to interpret all this. So when you're in street text, you're, you're all running with this first funnel here. Okay, this funnel is where everyone starts. It's, it's essentially saying, if someone were to buy your home, would you sell it, find its value in the current market, right? All easy peasy templated type stuff because when you get in there and start building it, it's already got the emojis in there for you. It's already got the verbiage. All you need to do is design it. And so a lot of the time I tell you, you know, you thought you were talking to an AI probably when you began with me and you're like, who's this guy texting me? <laughs> you know, who's this guy texting me, asking me for an address or a zip code that I can set up three ads with. And, I'm, and that's me. But what I, what I want you to take notice of is the reason why, because if you, some, some people do it automatically wrong when they start in the trial or they just set up one ad and then they think that's what, what, you know, it's going to give them results and it's never the case because Facebook's going to make a random selection of 500 people reached in the first 24 hours. And if that random selection is not serving you, you're gonna, results are gonna suck. If that random selection is serving you, you're gonna get clicks which turn into leads and then you're gonna be happy. Now, 
let me give you an example here. So if I talked about Los Gatos, like my hometown in California, and I was just gonna really sh show you the example, I always start with a pin drop because if you're gonna have to deal with 15 miles, don't start with just typing in Los Gatos and think that's that's where you're going after. You start with going to the, the second, so that it's the third step of the selection. It's almost, you're almost reverse engineering everything. You're always saying, okay, I'm starting in the targeting before I design the ad. So you go to the ad targeting, you drop a pin in the ad targeting, and then you open that ad targeting to acknowledge what 15 miles looks like in your market. So if I were to kind of zoom in here, I am not targeting Los Gatos. I am targeting Los Gatos, but I'm actually targeting about 20 towns around Los Gatos too. So if I don't acknowledge that, and then I start spending money on Facebook and I'm asking, and you're getting no leads or very, very few leads, you're, you automatically know why now. Because you didn't adjust your ad image or your targeting to reflect the 15 miles, 25 kilometers. Quick, sorry, uh, Marcus, quick question for you. So uh, if we go instead of 15 miles, let's say you do about five miles, right? Can't, can't look. Can't Not go down less. I can't go any less than 15. Oh, okay. As much okay. as I want to, I, my radius can't change. I got you. Okay. Let me show you what kilometers looks like. I can't change. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's something you got to start with. So it's actually better to start with the address or zip code that comes to mind and then start moving that circle. Because if I go back into here and I'm like, you know what, actually, if I think about it, you know, I would probably rather move it up this way or down this way, or, you know, if I'm near the water, why not use the coast? And you know the fish don't bite, right? So I'm gonna capture. I'm just gonna capture part of the coast. Yeah, the reason I was asking is if we can just do uh, like just uh, your geographic farming, right? Just to say you, like, the neighborhoods around you, and that's all. Nope, you can't do that. Yeah. Nope. So you start here, and then you adjust your ad image. So again, starting with the pin drop. If you do that properly, then when you escape. <laughs> Let's say I escaped here, click done, go back. Now, at this point, I'm making sure my ad image reflects that 15 miles. And that's it. Like, literally, that's how easy that step is. And then you go next, next, and then you have this is where you launch the ad. So, what most people do is I'll split three and up to five, but three at a minimum for the first 24 hours and deploy. And the reason they do that, by the way, is not so we can spend more money. I weren't street decks is not taking any of your money. That's all going to Facebook. The reason why you do that is so that you can have three unique audiences being reached because Facebook is going to do a shotgun approach. And you can't honestly think in some of your markets where there's maybe millions of people in that type of realm, that 500 people reach is going to represent your area. So the key on that is the more splits of these audiences that you have, the more likely you are to find a really effective cost per click model. And in this model, in this lead generation funnel that we have, 60% on any given day, sometimes more of those leads on average of those clicks, I should say, produce an address. So if you're getting results that say six out of 10, so six out of every 10 clicks, then if we get a good cost per click profile, let's say we get a dollar cost per click and you're spending nine then realistically, you should have four or five addresses in your account per day. Realistically, you should have a couple emails per day and so forth, like you do your math. Um, and uh, the funnel on average, I'll just give you guys the stats right now. On average, the funnel is producing a $2 address, $6 email, $18 phone number. So really you can look at the, the, your profiles and say, what am I looking at? Well, I'm gonna be looking at how much I've spent on this ad. That's number one. What my cost per click is, number two, What's my cost per lead? That's number three. What's my cost per email? Number four. And then lastly, if I go to my contacts and start reviewing them, how many phone numbers do I got? And where are they coming from? And what type of leads are they giving me? Like, because it all, as much as you wanna start with the lead gen and get all these leads coming in, you also gotta acknowledge that there's multiple levels, multiple levels of, of um, lead capture, address only, address plus email, address plus email information about their home, time frame for selling, address plus email, time frame for selling name or condition of their home, and then name and phone number. And even in that last stage, if they wanted to, where they can book an appointment. So that's called micro commitments. That's called dynamic lead capture. 
It's not a static landing page where we capture all the information up front. We do that too, that's called a lead ad, but that's not for this funnel. This funnel we're known for, we're actually one of the first companies to ever do this. And to this day, that's why I believe we're so good because we've, we've captured like three and a half million leads since 2015. So we have a, we're a preferred marketing partner with Facebook. We get firsthand understanding and knowledge of their algorithm, which is why people come to us because they don't wanna wear the marketing hat anymore. They're already wearing so many hats as it is. So come on over, let us really work this with you. And then you just focus on the relationships. But in the trial, it's, it's, that's where I start because if you start here, we can review ad performance and then we can start looking, is your ad performing multiple submissions the way we need it to on a daily basis? good. You're excited. You're, you know, any, anyone who starts getting leads gets excited to move into the next direction, which is follow-up. Like I know Tracy just jumped on here and Tracy um, is in the SoCal market. And because she's in the SoCal market, we, we decided, Hey, this funnel, mm, not so good. Looks like it's not working as well. I've moved her into another funnel, which has got even better results. And already it's taken off. Right, Tracy? Yep. It sure has. I looked at it this morning. The cost per click, 87 cent. Um, the 15 leads at a dollar and 21 cent and email, six emails at three dollars and three cent. That's the first one. I think I have two and they both are performing well. The second one is 75 cent cost per click. And then um, let's see here, 15 yeah. leads. At a dollar twenty, are you on mine? You I'm on it, and this, is why, <laughs> and this is why I like to have you guys all come on board at the same time instead of doing one on ones with you. It's really specifically so you could compare and contrast, and so that no one can have like what well, like you know these these binoculars that are on their own experience, right? It's like oh, how how are you supposed to to know what's real and what's not unless you're seeing other people's ad accounts, and so. I, I like to do this because here you are in Southern California in a very yes. competitive market. And if we look at your ad itself, right? We're, you know, mm -hmm. what's the average home sale in that 15 miles, right? Could be oh, anywhere yeah. from- 800 to a million two. Yeah, yeah. there you mm -hmm. go. So, you know, as simple as this is like, oh my gosh, this is a satellite image. How can I even use that? That's why would you, okay. Well, first of all, the map is, is, is not something anybody looks at and says, you're a realtor trying to get my information, right? Mm -hmm. right? Hence the understanding of number one, psychology is important here because you have to understand why we use the map. If you're, if you're using Facebook marketing, you're not, you're not in a place where people are actively searching for you. It's called interruption-based marketing, right? It's, it's, if you pull open your Facebook newsfeed right now, what's the first thing you do? First thing you do, if we're so smart, and, and this is where you knew you might want to start looking into those Netflix documentaries where, you know, the social dilemma where people like how they study consumers on social media. Well, you're automatically going to go to the red, which is the messenger and then the notification bell, because that's where you see, like, I've got notifications. People like me. Right. Two, what's the next thing you do when you're on your newsfeed? you start scrolling with your thumbs, right? Or in your case, my index finger, I'm looking at my phone right now. So where does that ad appear? Right there in that newsfeed, disguised as, as a sponsored ad. But guess what? In that person, that homeowner, that's, you know, that hasn't met you yet, most likely, they just see an ad that says, what's your home really worth? Enter your address, receive your home value. Now, so what happens? They're like, oh, you know, I want to know what my home value is, right? Not thinking they're going to get anything, but an automated home value, most likely. So the congruency between the ad image into the landing page is very scientific. You do not try to capture information. So the problem with most lead ads and most people who try to do lead generation themselves is that they go in that click and all of a sudden they're asking all this information and they're proposing in marriage, you know? like proposing for all their information. Like you want a home value, give me your name, your phone number, your email, you know, tell me about your home time frame, uh, all the stuff. And they're like, whoa, 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 no, no, no. I just wanted a home value. This is not, I'm not, forget about it. And you pay, you know, you, you only get one of those maybe for every 15, 20 clicks, right? Why you get 60% click to contact ratio or more on this one is because people get it. 
in this funnel that I'm using for, for Tracy, which is more of, this is more of a full account type of funnel. I wanted you guys to get really clear on this. There's so much integrity behind the ask here. The ask is clear, enter your address, receive your home value, very clear. So when they get to this point and they see they have to enter their address, there's a large percent of them that are gonna enter their address. All right, so let me enter my address. Okay, you always want to put yourself through the, this process or else you don't understand what's happening. And, and then, you know, you're not the consumer. You got to, sometimes you got to remove your real estate hat and become the homeowner. Forget about like what you think you know, for, pretend like you know nothing. Humble yourself and know nothing for a second because this is the best way to learn to, is to become the homeowner and, it, and it create the experience you'd want that homeowner to have with you in mind. Because it's all about connection, it's all about relationship, it's all about um, the understanding of, of what you have available to you in terms of virtual experience that you could create from the click into them meeting you. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I put in my, my address here, you know, and I'm just going to put in, you know, whatever I want here, analyze my property, that then automatically goes into Tracy's account. Okay, so if I go into contacts and I go into address only, there I am right there on the top. It's an address so far because I haven't gone any further than that. And that was, that's what's going to happen with a lot of your leads about, you know, for, for every submission you get, you're going to have, you know, usually you have like a one to three ratio of addresses, emails to addresses, I should say, right? And any, any of them that turn blue, are a contact with at least an email and an address. And then you're gonna have obviously the numbers as well. So the next step in that process is what? An email, right? An email is what is going to be provided if they want us to send them a property valuation by email. So if I click email permission, this is massive because they're giving you permission to contact them in that very moment an automated email is going out to them. Now, let me tell you something. And this is the shift. This is the shift. If you're going to be using this type of funnel, I need you to really get on board with that as a digital door knocking tool. And if you're not willing to create an experience in that moment that looks and feels, okay, I'm gonna give you an example real quick, that looks and feels like this, the moment they get in their inbox, you're going to have a hard time getting replies. I don't care how great of a writer you are, how good your, your copy is. They all thought they were getting a home value. And if you can, you can communicate until you're, you know, you have the most incredible gifted writing, but no one's these days, they don't care. These days you need to be there face to face. Body language and tonality is more than 95% of communication. And if you're not willing to embrace the tool needs you, I don't think it's gonna be a fit for you personally. I just don't. Or, is, or really, to be honest, you're gonna have a really hard time and you're gonna be, be converting leads at a small percentage of what's possible. Doesn't mean it can't be done. I just, I'm just gonna tell you from what I've seen and I've been here for six years, anybody that tries to do it without that type of communication, they struggle. And they're not, you know, it's just, it's a grind and it's, it's, it's uh, stressful and you're, you get a lot of people that unsubscribe or don't, you know, don't open the emails or just say, I'm not interested because they, they, they just need connection. They need, you need to embrace that. And if you can't embrace that, it's going to be a hard one for you. So <laughs> this is where every, I see some people leave. I'm like, no, no. But the truth is you're in, you're in the COVID era. Right? Think about it. Do you think people are naturally going to invite you into their home at this moment? You're not, you can't really door knock anymore. It's very uncomfortable. You're going to show up at their door with a mask on. This is your next best, yeah. This is your next, next best opportunity to create a connection, to be authentic, to be genuine. And so, what would that be like? I mean, there's a lot of different things to do. I mean, I, I have, um, I'll show you one I really enjoyed. Um, it's 
it's in here somewhere. I got a lot of things going on in my inbox. <clears throat> Let's see here. Here it is. Okay. So there's Jennifer Salter. She's done 19 deals with us over the last 19 months. Here's what the, the intro video looks like. Hi, Jennifer with eXp Realty. I just got your home value request from Facebook. I am working on it. I'm pulling all the comps in your area and your neighborhood. If there are any updates or upgrades I should know about, please just respond to this email. Let me know. That way I can adjust the valuation. Also, I'm sending you a message in your Facebook message request folder. That way you can get to know me and my business better. When you're ready to list, you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I am a local realtor that has lots of experience and check out my reviews. You'll see that I think you'll be very happy with my services for you and your family to get your house sold. And if you're just looking, enjoy. I hope the valuation is helpful for you. Again, my name is Jennifer Salter with eXp Realty. Talk to you soon. So, I mean, and, and Jennifer's been at it for a while, okay? If, that, if that's like, you know what, that's too long. I actually like to keep it short and sweet. And so we do a lot of training on that. Like, um, I'll show you, I'll show you one that I really enjoy. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Challenge. Here it is. This is her using a mobile phone. Hi, I'm Marley with Elevate Real Estate. I got your request for the home price valuation and I am on it. Oh, and by the way, I left a link to my Facebook profile page below. I'll just be sending you a really quick friend request. Want to make sure you get a chance to meet me. I'll talk soon. Bye. Okay, so why would you want to connect on Facebook? Well, then they see your properties and everything that you've been listing on, on no, Facebook. No, she, that was her personal Facebook. Oh. To get, I don't know, to get them as friends and, you know, kind of, they see, maybe you guys have stuff in common, right? Like uh, interest and everything, right? People are going to want to know and like you before they trust you. It's essentially winning friends and influencing people 101. They're not going to hand over the biggest asset of their life to anybody. Yeah. So, so you would, so you would say, don't, don't give out your, your business uh, Facebook page, do your personal. Good question. Jennifer Salter does both. Let me explain. So when you look at, um, let me go back to my, 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 here we go on this server. Let me go back to this example because she does both. And so, so what I would say is like in, in here, if you look at that, she has her Facebook, her personal Facebook here. But then if you look at the video that I just launched, um, this video, if you put connect with Jennifer opens up, there's this little link that's already built into the video. This is called bomb bomb, by the way, if anybody's wondering, and that bomb bomb link also clicks to her Facebook business page. Now, what's cool is she's got her own pinned post on this business page. Like, Rick looks really cool, right? It's, it's Avi, five-star review. Um, look what happens right there. There's a little bot that pops up right there too, right? On the, on the bottom right that says Jennifer Salter, you know, hey, can I speak to an agent? What areas do you serve? Can I schedule a viewing? Are there any new properties available? You know, it's automatically populating. That's the cool thing about what technology can do for you these days. Okay, so that that's... That's just key on there. And and by the way, like it's really easy to go in there. And um, I think I have it somewhere. I have so many tabs open here. Let me show you. Like you can go into your settings and really get in there and um, update it yourself. It's it's easy, right? You can just start editing your, your emails and then embed videos. And, and there's a place where you can add in your email signature. There's a place where you can start doing this. But, you know, many people, when they start their trial, they're just all about lead gen. And I get it. But sometimes you have to like stop that thinking. Street Tax is really good at generating leads. It doesn't, it doesn't just mean you're going to get it like in the first 24 hours. Sometimes we got to do multiple tests. But once we get it, now you got to automatically realize that these people are not just going to say, come on over. And that the top of the funnel is a different style of lead conversion altogether because it's not converting as much as it is um, coming from contribution. It's the pay it forward. It's planting the seed. It's creating a connection. It's having a conversation. It's making that person feel like they can talk to you. You know, it's using words like this as complimentary. There's no obligation attached to this whatsoever. You know, here's what I would position your home on the market for. Not here's what I would sell your home on the market for. Right? So 
it's psychology, a little bit different type of lead gen, but this is how you build a pipeline that could last, you know, you could look back a year from now and have thousands of leads generated with a small little budget that you've created on daily. I mean, for all of you, you know, think about the investment of street tax, thinking about the investment of advertising on Facebook. Let's, let's kind of realistically think about it. $9 a day, and let's just round up, let's call it $10 a day times 365 if, if you're running an ad every every day of the year which i doubt it you would 3600 okay let's round up 4000 cuz you're going to do some testing street tax is never going to be more than a couple thousand on total and you could you know there's there's cheaper options so when you look at the total investment of 6 grand over the course of a year how many deals would you need to have to make your return on investment in your market one deal really yeah, really. But why would you do this for one deal? Would that that'd be very stressful for a deal? So your pipeline that you're going to be building over time will produce more and more. Jennifer Salter has done 19 deals. I have, I have tons of agents that have done multiple deals, but it never happens in the first few months because you're talking about top of funnel. These are not most of these people aren't looking to sell their home today. They're, you just got them thinking about it unless it's circumstantial and that happens all the time, right? Because of this day and age we live in, like there's been a lot of changes happening this, this past year, <laughs> right? A lot of people are questioning if this is where they wanna stay, this is where they wanna live, if they have to be in seclusion and isolation, you know, do they wanna be closer to family? Do they wanna be moving? Do they wanna get out? A lot of people in my area, for example, are leaving where our home office is and moving to places like where we just lived on the island because why if you can work from home why do you need to be spending millions of dollars to live in some area when you can go get a home for you know four hundred thousand dollars on a half an acre so that's happening a lot too political stuff is causing people to leave and exit it right a lot of a lot of places so for a lot of you guys, what you really want to start thinking about primarily is how you educate people, how you show them how to FaceTime with you, how do you show them how to use video email, show them that they, that they can pull open their phone and start sending you pictures of their home to, to show them updates, renovation stuff. Because what you're going to learn too is like, you're not going to just simply give CMA after CMA. And a big part of what our group does, if you get, if you get into, um, if you and I are Facebook friends, hopefully we are at this point, I add you into this group. The reason why I have friend requests to you, just no different than the way I, I, you know, ask you to kind of think about your leads is so I can get you in here and start showing you what people are doing. So like, for example, video examples, there's a lot of people are showing you exactly how they use RPR or HomeBot or, you know, cloud CMA or all these little kind of home value ideas to, to help you understand what's even possible. You know, again, like here's, here's Jennifer Salter talking about, she's created a template, which I think is pretty awesome, where you can go into BombBomb, for example, and create these kind of templates where you're gonna have everything already pre-made for yourself. And then you'd basically go in for each person and put in their numbers. Right, because she's done everything to where you, it's called working smarter, not harder. Right, you want to have a lot of things already done in your email to where if I'm going to be sending things multiple times, this is why I love Bob Mom so much. I can create a snippet, and just like Jennifer's doing there, my snippets are already preloaded to where I can say, okay, you know, that's what I sent you earlier, right, Tracy? I could say, Tracy, right? And but then everybody you can do this type of thing for all your leads. So it feels really natural, but you're going to do this in a combination with personal touches as well, of course. So, so the key is you're going to be learning a lot as you go, because it's, it's, it's not just like, you don't need to spend a lot and lots of time doing the same thing over and over again and getting no results. A lot of it is just kind of setting up your systems, your integrations, your automations to really fill like you're speaking to that person. And of course, you're going to have your personal touches and you're going to need to acknowledge that like a lot of it is you coming in here and learning how to change the Julie AI, which is your automatic text message assistant, how to change your emails to be more personal. What kind of follow up? What are you looking for? Right. How often do you check in? You know, what do you that, that that's a lot of different style of training that you may not be used to. That's why with street text, we're doing a lot of this stuff together. 
because I always like to highlight people that are doing really well. Like I want, I want you guys to be successful. So I want to give you a bunch of free training like this, but I, but I know first and foremost, like this will immediately eliminate a lot of people because they don't want to do this. They're not, they don't have the time for it. And I get it. That's why this, this trial is here. Cause if you're not hungry to learn and, and change and adapt into this new type of environment, you're probably not going to make it anyway. So you might as well just use this trial to generate some leads and have fun experimenting a little bit. And then, you know, when the time comes in the future, we'll always be ready for you again. But it, it automatically, I think, qualifies and disqualifies people based on, do you work well in a group Zoom environment? Will you kind of go through other people's processes that have done really well with street text and kind of model it after your own and make it your own? You know, will, be, will you be open to using video email like bomb bomb or dub or, you know, there's a lot, I think we talked about like half a dozen different ones on our mastermind this past Wednesday, because there's always these new ones coming out. But will you, will you, will you be willing to embrace that's the connection you need to make with people? You know, and, and it's not just seller leads, it's buyer leads, it's listing leads, but interruption based marketing requires a personal touch. It requires a relationship focus. It's paying it forward because you're investing and you're giving and you're giving and you're giving. And sometimes you don't hear anything, but then three months later, they're like, yes, I'm ready. And you, you're like, well, you responded to some bogus email, but you never responded to any of my first 10 touches. But it's because they were getting to know you. They weren't ready yet. They actually didn't, you know, because you're in a lot of these leads, you're not going to have the phone number yet. It's just going to have an address and email. But you got to look at those as gold, especially if you're using the video-based email system. And a lot of our best agents now have been able to get 90% or more opens through personal touches in combination with their automations. Because with those systems too, then you don't just rely on automated email to go out. You have to actually then go back to study if that got open. And then, you know, with part of this is, you know, if you look, even look again, look at my email itself, I know when I send something out, who's getting what, I can filter my results by place. Like, let's say I just want to see who's actually playing my videos right now, right? Here we go. I can say, okay, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, like I know who's playing and I can see it. Same thing with open. So you need to start creating measurable results. Just like you're measuring your cost per lead, you need to measure your ability to get communication to that person. And then obviously, you know you're doing well if they're responding to you. So part of the art is a perfect email to me is one that has an open, a play if you have a video in it, and a click. Because if you can get a click, that means that you have a link in there that attaches to your calendar, right? Just like you guys booked with me, you could have all have your own Calendly's that booked in your calendar, you know, and automatically you wake up in the morning and you've got a meeting, whether it's a quick call, call a phone call or a Zoom session, just like this. A lot of this is just learning new things, right? It's pre pretty powerful what you can do from a click. Or it could be attached to your Facebook profile, or it could be somewhere where they get to just know you more or book somewhere. But they won't book if, unless they feel like there's a reason to book. So sometimes you give a little bit to get it. Sometimes you just give a little bit of an understanding of the RPR value of their home. Hey, you know, I'll have a lot of people that say, Zillow thinks your home's worth this. Truly, I guess it's here, you know, Realtor puts you it over here. I went into my own MLS. I, I studied the, the area. I, I brought it to more of a local frame, home similar to yours, similar square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms. Here's how I would position your home in the market. And, you know, it's still going to be about $10,000 of what I realistically think it could be worth. But if you wanted more in-depth market analysis, here's how you book for that. And by the way, it's complimentary. It's my way of giving back. I'm a local business owner and I know in these times it helps to have a connection. Right? And, I, and by the way, you just tell them this is going to be updated as often as you like. The market is always changing. Things are changing. The economy shifts. I, I, I pride myself in giving you numbers you can rely on, whether it's just for equity reasons or, you know, even if you're refinancing, I can hook you up with people. So you're just trying to give people an opportunity to meet you because you're the influencer. You need to, to understand in your, in your area, there's uh, realtors everywhere trying to get these people attention. So what makes you any different? It's the pay it forward model. It's the, the, this is really for the people that are go-givers that like 
that's who they are in the core. They're, they're all about giving. Like if it's all about transactions, people, it's going to show through. If it's all about your next deal, it's going to shine through. It's going to shine in your like almost feeling sounding desperate. So that, so the key in a lot of this is you don't let them ever interpret anything other than them meeting with you. And so if they go back to their email or they get a text message and that interpretation feels salesy and it may not be salesy but it feels salesy because that person's been burned so many times so they're just looking at their life through the sunglasses they're wearing today and the sunglasses they're wearing today the last three realtors have burned them so they're going to look at you that way until you have something unique there right sorry i you know i know we were supposed to talk about lead generation and reviewing your ads so let's let's do that but um the the key is you need to start there because if you don't start there then like I can, I can generate you 10 leads a day and it's not gonna matter because you'll find some way to say if mm, they were just tire kickers or just curious or I couldn't talk to them. And I'm like, well, now you know why. Because no one's just gonna sit, come on, say, come on over and list my home. Or are they gonna say like, let alone talk to you about the value of their home because they don't know you yet. They don't know what you're trying to get from them. Is there any questions on that? No, no, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. I mean, but like, if you didn't learn that, you might just kind of go about your trial and think these leads are, you know, whatever they are for you. Right. Um, and so that's a lot, a big part of it is number one, making sure your ads are set up right. So if you're going to set up your ads, that's why I ask you, send me the zipper address. I can help set those up for you. Let's go out there and split test for the first 24 to 48 hours. If that doesn't work, turn those off and I'll give you a new set with a new ad funnel just like I did for Tracy. Cause look, if you look what I did for Tracy, um, let's, let's look at your account to see here. So in your first split test going down, cause we did some testing. Um, we had 532 a click, spent 21 bucks, only four addresses, two emails. This one spent $21 and did absolutely nothing. Okay. This one, similarly 20 bucks, three addresses at seven bucks, one email, 20 bucks. Absolutely. You know, in my, my standard, I don't, I, I don't like them. So I'm like, okay, Tracy, we're going to try it again. This one didn't work for us. And so as you can see, she's like, this is the type of her Tracy's. It's my favorite type of client. Cause she's still willing. Let's do this. Let's do this. We can get it. Um, this one, one out of six, you know, some addresses, but not so well, this one similarly. And then finally I said, you know what, these, these funnels with the emojis aren't working. Let's move into the what's your home really worth funnel. This is the one I really like. So we got to this one early, turned it off in around seven bucks and got a couple addresses. And then we left these two on, which are, are producing the best results. Another big change I made with Tracy is I, I went from $9 to $12 because of that market. So just by a $3 ad change and a, a different funnel using the same ad image, I got a click to contact profile that is what I'm looking for. So on both cases, we're getting you know, 15 out of 21 clicks producing address, under dollar clicks, 75 cents on one, 90 cents on the other, $18 spent here, but 15 addresses at $1.25, six of those with uh, emails, and then 15 and five. And so if I'm looking at both of these now, then I'm going to kind of start reviewing them based on area to see which one I really want, right? So I'd be going like, okay, there's Tarzana, Van Nuys, uh, Calabasas is where you want to be, right? So that's 9.3. Um, Sherman Oaks, 03, 93 at Woodland Hills, right? So you kind of start looking at it by, you know, there's a Malibu. Malibu? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, close. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be like, okay, 03, I want, I want more Malibu homes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but well, that's in my 15 mile radius though. What's so that, that one worth? Did you check it out? Oh yeah, it's a million one or almost a million two. That that particular house, yeah. So <laughs> now it's just making a relationship with that person. Yes, exactly. Say hey, you know I, I know you're probably get bombarded by realtors all the time. I mean you're in Malibu, so um, I'm just gonna, here's how I'm gonna get you some information. I'd probably do something nice with a, a wax stamp on there. Like in our mastermind, we found people are doing wax kits now with, you know, like the, the um, Harry Potter wax that you put on envelopes. That's a new thing that realtors are doing that will make you different from, for, for mailers. Put your little- like this, this kind of thing. You got it, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be sending a piece of mail that better be opened. 
And you guys, you know, if you're in, if you're getting, a, if you know that home's a million one, I'm, I'm going to send something in the mail for sure. I'm going to give them the report. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to put a little bolt binder around it. You know, I'm going to give them a Starbucks card. <laughs> I'm just going to do something. <laughs> well, if they throw it up, they're throwing off the Starbucks card. Yeah. 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 You don't want to throw that out. So you better put that in a, a wax seal. <laughs> you know, if you're, uh, yeah, go ahead. You can unmute yourself. I won't hear you unless you unmute yourself. So um, on the beginning of your screen, it was saying that I could be spending a $9 a day, but on looking at Tracy's thing, she was spending like $18 a day or something. No, not a day. It was accumulated budget over time. Because if you, Facebook, if you set a $9 a day ad budget, Facebook will spend nine and then the next day nine. So she let, that was over a couple of days of data. Oh, okay. So it's not just a one day. No. Okay. And, and, and then with that being said, you only do $9 each ad. So if I have a, a split test, that's $27 of total ad budget. If I let all three run at $9, right? One, two, three. But I would, most often what I do is I'll, I'll eliminate two after 24 hours to keep one on. And let's say all three suck. Then I'll do another split test. So sometimes you spend a little bit more initially to get to where Tracy was. Cause you have to, you're testing audiences just like Tracy did. You're testing multiple audience because you never know which audience was this time it was in Malibu, right? Or this time it was in Woodland Hills or this time was, or that audience just didn't give me anything but addresses, why? There's nothing different about these ads guys. It's just who Facebook puts it in front of. And that's the only variable for your first 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, I've had some, uh, some issues with that and um... Like if you take a look at my stuff, it went like it's sixteen dollars an email. Right? Sir, pause it. Yeah. So pause it. Pause it. And for you, I'll 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 set you up with the same one that did Tracy. Anyone that can't find the ad performance with that emoji funnel, I'll sit you. I'll switch you over into a funnel that I'm almost one hundred percent positive will work. Okay. And I I you know, trust me. You know I I've asked multiple times. I'm like, why don't you just give all this funnel to the trials? They're like, well, they need they need to sign up to get it. I'm like, no, but I just tell they 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 would just so love it, you know. So I always go to bat, and that's why I have no problem for people that are not getting experience like a good ad performance in the trial to switch you over. You just tell me, right? Okay. But in some cases, that funnel with emojis crushes. So it's just going to be another advantage as you come beyond the trial into the full account. Um, and the same goes for your buyer ads, by the way, and the same goes for your listing ads. And we do have custom ad workshops too, for people that are wanting to do things like, you know, new construction or rent to own, or you need all the different kind of leads that you can find out there. I, uh, uh on my ads and, um, I actually just spoke to a lead who says he wants to sell like right away. And, and I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> She's, <laughs> Some of, the time, some of the time you just pick up the phone and have a conversation. Like it doesn't have to be so like complex. You know what I mean? I think yeah. good on you. Good on you. You kind, of, you kind of get shocked when they say, yeah, come in an hour. I want to list like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I talked to a so couple who, of that are looking to hopefully sell and we'll see what happens. So, so here's the thing, 24 hours. And, and here, and here's another thing about split testing. When you could, when I, when it sounds crazy to say, okay, five ads, 24 hours, like you can, you can split up to five of those, but realistically, who's to say what, if you, if you threw $10 on each ad, that's $50. If you were to do a split test like that, but who's to say you, well, as soon as one of those starts off hot within the first two to three bucks of each one of those ads, and you got a phone number right away and you go in your contact section and you recognize the ad ID from which of that that phone number came from in the area that you prefer, why would you keep on any of the other ads at that point? You'd, you'd be like, oh, this is the ad that got me the phone number and it's only spent three bucks so far. And so of the other ones, so what? So I, so in, in my mind, I've spent $15 so far, five times three, let's just make that up, but I got that phone number. So I'm just gonna turn the four off and leave that one on because I found it. It's like, it's like you go into Vegas and you want a blackjack, right? You want a 21. So you're going to play some hands. You're ready to go to the unit. You know, you might lose a little bit, but you're willing to, to play a few hands. You're not going to go there and hit the, the, the jackpot every time. So uh, Marcus, if you're saying you only have one, let's say you, you have four, took three out, you know, you're left with one. You're, what is your suggestion? Should, should we go back and start up another three? 
or no? Well, that's because you're just stick with that one and just hope that that one's going to produce. If it's great, like, I mean, let me show you where, like, for for the gal, Jennifer, that I was telling you about that's done 19 deals. Like, look at what she's got going right now. This has been on for $200 spend so far at $9 a day. So that's almost coming on a month. And if you look at her last seven days versus a lifetime, it's basically identical. So, so once you start cashing on to a per performance standard, there's times where you never have to change a thing for months. Okay. Right. So, but it doesn't mean you don't set up another split test and always try to beat your ad because why not? So every once in a while, you might be like, hey, I'm going to do a split. I'm going to just gonna have fun. I'm going to do another split. See, because it's basically you're chasing the ace. You're trying to beat your best ad. So what determines it's working or not? Just clicks, really. So the number of clicks that you have, it's working. That's how you determine it. But well, it's how many numbers? Let me put it this way. The funnel on average produces anywhere from 60 to 70% of every click becoming an address. On average, every, one in every three addresses provides an email on average, one of every three emails provides a phone number. So if you have that stat in front of you, you can start doing your math on what you could expect. So the lower, more clicks you get for your ad spend, the more realistically your, your cost per address, cost per email, and cost per phone number are gonna be quite predictable. You can start doing your math. You, you'll be able to see, you know, and, and you learn over time how these funnels work and the numbers you're looking for. You just, you know, repetition is where you kind of learn. You have to, you come you can come into these type of things as often as possible just to really get clear with that oh okay thank you yeah another question i had marcus uh every time i go on facebook or or yeah, mainly facebook i find my own ad sponsored ad like why why is it targeting me can i make it not target any realtors no. in the area and and here's the thing you if i were you don't worry about that because you actually want i have a lot of agents a lot of agents and it's so smart to consider is when you go and view your ad and you click view your ad right you should go always go view your ad why wouldn't you share it to your personal sphere right why wouldn't i share with a little message be like hey everybody all my facebook friends you know just want to let you know anybody who wants a complimentary home value go ahead and click on my ad it's totally free i'll even bring over your favorite cup of coffee because you know you don't want to forget your own personal sphere right okay and there's going to be a lot of clients you forgot about a lot of people you forgot about people that you just went about life you, you know you, and they're just like all of a sudden they're interested and you reconnect so don't worry about yourself you're part of the 15 miles so what if it shows up there your facebook remember is throwing it into a 15 mile web and if it so happens to go into there no big deal but if you if you start getting multiple people from within your network then you know uh, again, if it's a lead you can talk to and a lead that you can connect with and a lead that would have you over, that's fair game. Like if it touches some of my friends, no big deal. I kind of want it to actually. Yeah. I, I have time. And then if you get comments on your ad, if you get likes on your, that's why you want to view it. Comments, ads, likes, social interactions, Facebook loves. They'll make your algorithm work even better. So never say that there's say that there's um you know negative comments or something like that. Hide it, are... or hide it, or always try to turn it around with like a funny gif. Oh, okay, I got you. Because you don't like most people will say something because they they've been again it's their experiences they've been so bombarded with things that they, you know, oh it's just a scam right because they've been scammed. Yeah, yeah. And so no no this is a real person you know hey it's me like. You know, have fun with it. Like now, I don't know if you knew this, but now you can you can comment with video. Um, you know, I use iMessage, I use iPhone. A lot of people forget that we can send videos to one another, that we can send voicemail to one another because we're so used to texting. But change your thought, change your mindset now because the world's changing. You have way more connections and virtual tools at your hand than you ever had before. Everything's this, we're living in this digital virtual day and age. It's everything's moving to virtual reality. So real realtors in general, for me, they seem to be later, like late adopters to technology. We need to become early adapter adapters. We need to change that. Like we need to be first on board because we're, 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 we're leading the way. We're the trendsetters with technology. And so you might as well take advantage of it or else someone will, right? If you're not on this on board of this, someone else will. 
that's why that's why the space of Zillow has gotten so jam packed because everybody finally tried to get on board with that. Now Zillow is reinventing their model and now they're selling homes for you. And you're like, well, don't be that, you know, no one wants to spend tens of thousands of dollars just so they can have exclusivity on something. The beauty of about Facebook is that, you know, instead of competing in the end zone, we're, we're leading to coming up on the Super Bowl, right? Instead of competing in the end zone, you get to get the ball on the one yard line and you're not competing against anybody. Now it's just up to you to make the way to the end zone because that lead's not going to anybody else but you, but you. Once you capture it, it's up to you to create the relationship. It's not going to go into someone else the next five minutes like, like other systems. And so where do I go next? You just message me the zip or address you want me to set up from and I'll set up the split test. Oh, okay. So what is your phone number? Um, my phone number is 778-215-0263. But what I will challenge you is to be friends with me on Facebook so I can get you into our Facebook group. So look for me on Facebook, Marcus Willard. Once we connect, I'll add you into my group. And then I will also encourage you to stay connected with me through Messenger because I teach a lot of classes around how to make Facebook your primarily form of communication with leads. Because once you get them in there, you can start building lists within your Facebook. And Messenger is the best place because you have everything. You can see when they're getting it. You can put all PDFs in there. You can put voicemail in there. You can put everything in there. Um, so, you know, what other, um, go ahead. Right. Um, what other add-ons are there? Uh, so we know we know that it works. We know the system works, right? I think we're, at least I'm sold on it. Um, bomb, bomb, CRMs. Um, um, so I'll, t I'll tell you, so a lot of people like, like Jennifer, I like to use her cause she was, she doesn't use, she uses her uh, street text as a CRM, but then I'll have a, a lot of other people that will go into zap to like Zapier through our integrations channel. And you'll zap into, you know, what other system you have, or if it's not Zapier, you'll use something like email parsing, like people with follow up boss will do. Um, they'll parse that into their system. Um, so you know, there's no, like, I would say, you know, check out BombBomb. Bomb. There's like a free trial if you go to bombbomb.com uh, forward slash street text. And, you know, you don't have to use street text, but that's something you could do. And and then I would look into, if you're in the United States, I'd look at, maybe look into HomeBot, but you, you don't really, some people like it, some people don't. It's a very inexpensive $25 a month um, home valuation tool for you. And it's really powerful when you integrate it with the bomb bomb because now you're showing them how to tune their market value, you're showing them equity and mortgage information, you know, Airbnb and investment opportunities for them and so forth. It's pretty powerful. And it high, highly opens, highly interactive. And so when you get pinged that someone's interacting with it, that's your time to follow up. So, <clears throat> you know, outside of that, I mean, I would just masterminds every Wednesday with us is where people will learn the most. I have a lot of people that tell me, the once a week meeting on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern is why they set up with Street Text. Because you're not reinventing the wheel. You're coming to these meetings, you're learning from people that have been do done dozens of deals with Street Text and you're figuring out what exactly they use, how they use it, what their integrations are. So that meeting it's always has 100 people plus there. Plus we have free courses and all this stuff, but you gotta just kind of re reimagine your, your training you're almost when you when you join Street Text, you're almost like you're joining this incredible community of people that not only coach you, but you get educated. Well, there's a reason I don't attempt to run my own ads. Yeah. That and, and, and again, we're going to be running so many different styles of ads. But once we get in this, the flow of ad performance, then everything shifts into follow up process integrations everything that you know you can imagine to make that person feel like you're going to connect with them and then nurture them along the way is there uh, an onboarding session where you you help us or additional coaching where you help yeah. us put the whole system together 100 percent we have multiple styles conversion workshops um ad performance workshops we have masterminds um you know uh, based on what you're needing help with that day we can get you into the training for it Cool. And so that's kind of it. I mean, so I'll, I'll tell you, like, in case you, I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but if you do decide to move on with Street Text, you're just basically scrolling down to the very bottom of your trial dashboard where it says ready to sign up and you have three options to work with us. Um, the, the full year is obviously the most 
um, I think biggest savings and it's going to give you the commitment that you should see the biggest ROI. So we, we incentivize that we give you about 1080 off of it is 1920 up front renews month to month at 160 six months up front is 1020 renews monthly at 170 and then if you want to kind of just trial it out for three months um it's 600 bucks up front and then it renews month to month at 200. so marcus is that us dollars or canadian dollars it's wherever you're at so in canada it's the same and in the us is the same so you get kind of rewarded in canada actually yeah um, and and then of course just remember you're you're tapping into three funnels right now that you have access to Beyond this, your member only templates, you get so many more. And so those are gonna be, we're gonna be creating training with you for that because you're gonna to wanna to try them. There's always reasons to try them based on what is happening in the market right now. And we'll work you through that. Cool. Cool. Message me if you have any questions after this on Facebook, if you want me to set up some new ads, if you want me to look at your ads, um, message me and I can, I can help you with that. All right. So we're looking at the, uh, upfront, upfront cost, the monthly plus the cost of running the ads. Upfront cost. Um, yes. Monthly is doesn't not until after the contract ends. So if you go a year up front, you're not paying another month, month to month until the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then no, no. can you, can you split it? So you do like, let's say you pay for the three months, the one that's three months up front. Right after two months, let's say I decide, you know what, I actually want to go for a full year. Can, yeah, I, yeah, can yeah, I do yeah. that? Oh, that's, we have a lot of people that do that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and then remember your ad spend is your variable. And then other thing I would look at is an integration like BombBomb. So figure, they do month to month uh, stuff. So I, I would make that kind of a the three that you would really want to focus on on in budgeting. What, what's that? Uh, BombBomb. You said the three, which three? Oh, I mean, meaning like your street text, your Facebook, um, you know, ad per, advertising cost, right? You know, throw in like, to be conservative in the beginning, think like 300 bucks, upward to 500 a month, depending on your market. Um, and then I would then say, think something like, like bomb bomb. You could look at other solutions as a monthly fee. You're going to use bomb bomb way more than you are for, uh, just lead generation. I'll, I'll honest with you. You're going to change the way you contact everybody. Um, and stay in contact with everybody. So it's, it's people love it. People love it. Where, where do we find out more info on how your, uh, how the street text CRM works or, um, yeah, well, how it works. Well, so when you sign up, we'll do a different type of training. I see. Okay. Yeah. And you're, it, trust me, when you do your trials, it's, it just, this alone is a lot. So we need to take it in one week sprints. Like what's working, what's not working, what do we need to work on? Like when you're in trial, you're not going to be working a lot because you don't know if it's a fit year. So you're not going to be spending a bunch of time trying to edit everything. When you move beyond that, now you're going to be looking at it. What what options do you guys have for uh, for new builds? Like I have 70 lots coming up. What, what options do you class. have for that? Custom ads class. I'll get you to that. Okay. It's a custom ads class. You, you meet with Logan, one of the guys that's one of our best ad builders, and he shows you multiple options he's built already for, for new builds. Cool. Okay, awesome. Where are you located, Andre? Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> a little far from you, buddy. <laughs> I'm, in, uh, I'm in Downey. It's a little suburb, suburb of, uh, of L.A., southeast of L.A. Yeah, Love complete that. opposite side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fun, guys. We have so much fun in this community. When you come to our masterminds, like people, like 100 people on there, and then you just start seeing like these personalities that naturally emerge and start almost mentoring people. Um, we have a guy we name Leon, who's become Papa Smurf because he's always leaving us uh, just wise quotes at the end of what we need to do. And he's like, calling them free night, these free 99 ideas. He always talks about the free 99 stuff that we already have access to, that we forget about. So yes, well, you guys will learn a lot. You'll enjoy the community. Everybody's so giving into that group. You just got to ask, you know, don't, don't ever leave a stone unturned. Ask the question you need answered to make sure you get the answer. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for having me today, guys. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Marcus. Take care. Thanks, Marcus.